Hey guys, welcome to No New Friends Before Light. <laughs> before Light? Before there Light. You go. No New Friends Before Light. Yeah, I was thinking about switching it up a little bit. Uh, after Dark, Before Light. During Dusk. Why don't we call it No New Friends Eclipse? Is this happening right now? Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, right no, now. we're, we're, we're live. This. Yeah, we're this live. is live. <laughs> oh, this is all raw and uncut, so don't say anything incriminating that oh you don't gosh. care about. That was the intro. Yeah. What's up, guys? We have Alex on the podcast tonight. This isn't a podcast. What is this? This is a podcast. It's a what video video is podcast. this? It's a video podcast. It's a vodcast. It's a vodcast. It's a vodcast. 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 What does podcast even stand for? Portable ca- broadcasting? Is it really? I don't know. I, th- I think so because like the first like podcasts that I've ever heard like I ever heard of were like people literally like recording and like walking around. Like making segments interesting but that i pod. thought that was a pod uh, so when scott looks that up welcome to episode two of no new friends after dark where we peel back the layers of the onion of life or if you live in haiti peel back the skin of the human you're about to eat of life i am wow. your captain chris but that you can see that i think no you can't actually see that so if you don't know who i am my name is chris to my virtual left is as i had to figure it out is is uh the hostess with the mostest scott hey sorry my sister's dog's just crying in the other room i don't know what is wrong with this dog i just <laughs> fed him he's crying like he's literally it's a crying podcast okay. uh it says that it's um a, a combination of ipod and broadcast because pod usually stands for playable on demand Oh, oh! So this is a pod. This is definitely a podcast. It's a vodcast. Yeah, it's a video, video podcast. On demand. Yeah. Podcast. The other voices you're hearing is the wise man himself, Darren. First, I was undesirable. Now I'm undeniable. I, th- I would argue that now you're undisputed. Now I'm undisputed. Are you drunk? No, that's like my second shot. Calm down. And we have <laughs> the always family friendly. Diz his Alex. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Wow. Are you reading the history over there? So anyway, guys, <laughs> um, we were talking about a little bit before we came on the podcast. We were? Wait a second. The vodcast. Before we came on the vodka, before we climaxed on the vodka, before we, before we started streaming, uh, I was talking to Scott a little bit about parenting. Because if you can't tell on my hat... I'm going to be a dad next month. Congratulations. Thank you. And in 12 more years, I'm going to be a dad of a preteen <laughs> girl. And so there's a lot of, of navigating through this thing we call life that's going to be between now and, and then. And uh, I thought having a newborn was tough. Scott's rolling his eyes. It's not. Having a newborn's easy. It gets, it gets way worse. Way it's way worse. So we're, we're at this stage where... Um, I am going to have uh, an infant next month. Alex has uh, toddlers. No. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm really bad with eight. I'm really bad with, with the age thing. I don't know how old my old niece is. I don't, actually don't have a niece. Um, uh, it's my cousin. It's, it's a really weird family tree. Um, it's a circle. from Kentucky or from... Uh, it's, it's a circle. <laughs> Um, Alex, what would you consider your kids? One's a toddler. No, a five is not a toddler. I wow, he's five? Holy Going shit. Going to kindergarten is not a toddler. So wow. So he's just a kid. Yeah, just a just All right. kid. And then you're, the, okay, so you just have kids. Darren, uh, is a kid. Dan, <laughs> I have a cat. They're perfect. But Darren's the son of Scott, which is going to be interesting to hear, uh, um, you can kind of critique Scott's parenting, uh, and Scott is <laughs> Scott is the parent. Scott is the parent of a uh, thirteen going on thirty, essentially. Or eleven. Well, like, yeah, yeah. In spirit, in spirit, thirteen tw- going on thirty. Yeah. Uh, so, tw- I'm not looking forward to it at all. Tween yeah, maybe worse than teen. So probably, I it, feel like it could be. You say that, Scott. People break it down. Middle school for a reason. Yeah, I know. It's the middle it's the it's the place of no return. Um, that's where teaching careers go to die. <laughs> Scott, break or it down start, for us. And then they figure out where to go next. Yeah, right. Break it down for you. Yeah. So, uh, 
I have the. I meant most dance, dated. dance, bitch. This is my show. <laughs> Perfect. Now go on with your story. <laughs> okay. So I I have an eleven year old, and and we all know Abby. She's yes, uh, the coolest kid ever. Yeah. I, I mean, she's, and Ouch. she really is. She's really a cool kid. Was I and not a cool kid? What? <laughs> Was not, I not as a cool, cool kid. Was you a cool kid? Yeah. You you became cool when you were in your twenties. Ah, okay. <laughs> Alex's laugh makes anything funnier. I know, I know. <laughs> no, Darren, oh we, I had a, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you in high school, yeah. uh, especially like when you got into theater and stuff. Like you were you were super fun uh, to hang out with in 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 high school. Um, as a kid. You know, okay. I just want to say you're the reason why I drink. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's that's a proud dad moment for Scott, actually. You know what? And and we we haven't really talked about this on the podcast at all, uh, except for in in more comedy. But you know, I, I did the, the two different stints, two different two year stints as a single parent. Mm -hmm. And, and the first one was rough. Um, the first one was rough because, you know, you were six and your sister was a year old, mm -hmm. you know? So I, here I am, a dude, a single parent. I'm in my mid-20s. Mid-20s? Mid-20s. Oh, my gosh. Well, how, how old did you say I was? You were probably six, five so or yeah, six yeah, years yeah, old. Were like, you were like 26? Yeah, because I'm 20. I'm exactly 20 years older than Darren. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't imagine having a kid at 20. Yeah, yeah. I had, I was, second, I, I had my my second child at 30. Scott was shocked too, was Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So I was I was very young, and you know, I, you it, 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 it's no secret. Like I struggled to be a, a single parent and That's not. <laughs> Oh my God! Let me finish the story. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. And not, and not just from a financial aspect, but I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, like, <laughs> and I've talked about this before on the podcast. Like, literally every other day, I rotated between Seven Eleven chicken nugs and um, Little Caesars pizza. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can. Yeah, you're just like I can confirm. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> not satire. Darren still will not eat Little Caesars to this <laughs> that's day. That's actually actually funny story. I tried it again for the first time Ooh. in like ten years, like oh, two weeks ago, and I almost immediately puked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so <laughs> Jaws says the reason all of us drink is me. So, um, it, you know, so as a kid. I didn't, you know, especially when you were in middle school um, and and look, that was and we're not going to get into why middle school was tough for you. Yeah, not right now. Um, that's a different episode, but there was a lot going on there as well. So it was just a, it was just a different dynamic. Um, and then Michaela, my middle school, my middle daughter uh, wasn't here uh, in middle school. She was with her mom. So anyway, back to Abby, um, because she's the cool one. Um, so she's 11 years old and things that 11 year olds have now are much different than they were when Darren was a kid. Darren didn't have, if he did have a cell phone, it was a flip phone. Right. Um, the, you know, my sideways keyboard. Ah. Yeah. With the sideways keyboard. Yeah. 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 You know, my, uh, Abby has, Abby has, you know, a smart, she's got an iPhone 14. She's got a, she's got the a higher up level than I do. That's kind of your so, fault. She's got a higher level than I do. Yeah. So, you know, I thought that I kind of had the controls on everything. Like any app that she downloads, mm -hmm. I have to approve. Okay. So, but I'm not like super in tune to exactly what's going on. I yeah. have some concerns because like a lot of times I set my TikTok lives to be 18 and up. Mm -hmm. And then here she is. Oh. I'm like. So you had your suspicions. <laughs> Uh, how is she here? Right, right, right. Um, so, like, it, it's been a lot of conversations that Rachel and I have had. Like, hey, we should probably look into her phone a little bit. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other night is when it happened. And set, it set, was... So, uh, break, really go into detail. I, I want to I hear how you, like, snuck into her room in the middle of the night. 
it wasn't no chris i would never do that it wasn't uh, it was a hey we need to talk about your phone let's can we go through it real quick and and this sucks. is why and i explained to her why you know it wasn't i wasn't trying to sneak around and i didn't go looking in her text messages or yeah. stuff like that it did was, she felt violated though no oh good I wasn't, good i wasn't going through through stuff like that and listen Abby and I, like, Abby is, for an 11-year-old girl, mm -hmm. is extremely, like, open with her father. Like, you know, she'll, she'll let me know. She, she, she let me know uh, the other day. She's like, hey, I'm a witch. And I'm like, what do you mean you're a witch? And she's like, I started my period during the eclipse. That is hilarious. Yeah. And she's like, I hate, like, she'll, she'll just like, I hate being on my period. And I'm like, I know, it sucks. She goes... Yeah, the underwear's not, like, she goes in, like, the underwear's uncomfortable, the pads are, you know, this, that, and it, she is not a, it is not taboo. And that's nice you guys have that sort of relationship, though, yeah. yeah. All jokes aside. Yeah, and, and it, it is, it, and it's just, again, it's the third child, so any, any mistakes or any learning uh, takeaways that I've had with the, my first two kids, I've kind of course corrected a little bit on the third, but new yeah. things happen. Social media was not a big thing when Darren and Michaela were kids. Right. You know, it was just kind of coming in. And again, smartphones were not a thing. Social media was a thing, but smartphones were not. Mm -hmm. You know, Darren, when, when, when did you get, when did you have your first smartphone? Sorry, I muted myself. Um, that's a hard, when did I get my first smartphone? When I got your hand-me-down, like, I don't remember what Samsung it was, but the one that came with Avatar on it. Oh, you remember yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. You gave yeah. me your hand-me-down. And that, oh, was okay. the, that was the first, like, smartphone that I had. So you were probably, like, eh, maybe you were, like, 10 or 11. 11, 12, yeah, because I remember you I remember you giving me a phone in elementary school, like, fifth grade, because yeah. I started walking by myself to school. Right. And, like, I was walking with Michaela to school. That's when yeah, I got a want, cell phone, you, when you I started walking to, a, to school, yeah. When you, you wanted us to have a phone. Yep. Uh, yep. To, so, yeah. Okay. So we're, you know, and, and this, it, we were having a conversation, just kind of resetting expectations around the house. And that's how I kind of snuck in this conversation. I was like, Hey, I need to, I need to look at your phone. Um, we need to go through and I need to make sure that there are controls on your phone mm -hmm. and all that. Um, so, you know, I set everything to private because things weren't set to private. That's and scary. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I'm like, sweetheart, you have to be, you have to set your stuff up to private. Like that's, and she's got like six TikTok accounts. So I Did literally had to go through each one, set them all to private. And then, um, like family share them to oh, that's my cool. TikTok that. account. Yeah. Can so I, I can, can now, I, can I ask how you sold this to her? Cause like, did you sell it? Like she was in trouble? No, or like, was no, it like that, coming from like a concerned parent? And like, did she understand it was coming from like a concerned parent? So, because, uh, like, okay. Cause, Darren, Great question. Unfortunately, I wrapped it into something else. And so she did say, how did we go from this mm. to this? And I said, I'm sorry that this is the way it happened. I said, what I am doing is not as a result of anything you did wrong. And I was very, very clear about you are not in trouble. You're not in trouble. I said, now what you what will put you in trouble is once I do all these settings, if I check your phone and you've unclicked this stuff, but as we're having the conversation and as I'm doing this, like she got it, she understood and she was extremely cool about it. Yeah. Alex. I, I will say like peeling back the curtain, like as your actual son, like you're really good with those conversations. I remember conversations like that when you had, you had to have them with me. And I remember how you, you guys had conversations them. growing up. Wow. That's cool. sometimes, sometimes, um, but you were really, good at like actually showing me the reasoning behind things and made me understand why the decisions that were being made were being made. Thank I you. I didn't agree with them, but you did a good job of explaining <laughs> it. I get it. it listen, I, it's, it's really good to hear. Yeah. I feel like it's the biggest compliment for a parent. It, it is. Yeah. It's really good to hear. Um, because look, I, I live in a constant state of dad guilt. Okay, a constant day. Did, did, did I raise them the right way? Did I teach them the right lessons? Do they know that I love them? Do they know that I'm proud of them? That, you know, this, that, and the other. And, and it's moments like that where it's like, you know, that means so much to me, Darren. And I appreciate it. You sound like it. a millennial dad, honestly. But oh, you're, not, you're not really a millennial dad, are you? We can I'm, borderline. I'm borderline. I'm borderline millennial. But you sound like one. 
You know, there's yeah. this thing where you know, I'm a millennial dad. I tell my kids I love them every day. Like that's, you know, Scott's on Scott Scott fucking yeah, streams on that. TikTok every day, Alex. He's, he's yeah, I stream on TikTok. He, he tells me he loves me when he, I get him four new subscribers. On TikTok. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> not now. You're an adult. But I'm saying when you're a that's kid. That's true. <laughs> but, 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 uh, you know, I, I definitely struggled as a parent and. One day we'll go really deep into this. Uh, this is not that that episode, um, but I, you know, I, I struggled uh, being being uh, being a parent. First of all, I was so young when I became a parent, had no idea what I was doing, and like you don't have a you don't have an idea what you're doing as a new parent anyway. But I had no idea what I was doing, um, and then you know I, I was a single parent, so it was just. Uh, just the basics. Let me make sure they get fed and they go to bed and they take a shower and they have clean clothes. That was, man, that was it. Because that's all I had the energy for. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sitting here managing a restaurant, working 50 hours a week, and then being a single parent. Not to mention the stress of if my mom was out of town, finding a sitter. Yeah, yeah. On the week, I mean, it it was tough. It was tough. And I, I lived in a, uh, god damn it, the Magic are on a two-game losing streak. They lost. Um, they lost in Milwaukee. This yeah. is how I much. This is how much parenting means to Scott. I love hey, watching hey, the highlights want, and knowing you, the outcome. You want them to drop a little bit because you don't want them going into number four. Playing, yeah, you're, you're right. Playing they Miami. Want them second seed. You want them in like, the second seed. Second seed. You don't want them playing Miami. I wanted them want in the them. third seed to play Indiana. They're going to be third or fourth. You want them in the middle. That's why the yeah, Sixers are so mediocre. Fifth. No, okay, they're not them, in fifth. Them, no way. Let them be in fifth. Yeah. Right now, it's it's not bad. New York's third. Orlando and Cleveland are four and five. They got more. I games. think that's a great spot to be in because then they ha they'll have an easier road. I don't know. All right. Sorry. You know who didn't have an easy road? Darren grew up. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it, it's just it's just stuff that I struggled with. So it's 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 good to hear that you know I I did something right. Uh, one aspect of it. So anyway, so we're going through Abby's phone, and and the first thing we do is we we go to the TikTok, and I make everything private, and I'm family sharing so I can see everything she's doing. Then I go to Instagram, and I realize that her birth date is wrong on there. Like she put that she's like five years older than she actually is. So I I immediately change the birth date, and it suspends her account. Uh, so in 30 days, the account goes away. So she starts crying. And it, it Instagram wasn't as big of it because she just got it. Right. But, you know, these kids live in the age of yeah. influencers and being famous on TikTok and YouTube and all that. So there's like, you know, she's like, I'm 11 years old. I'm starting early. So I, I said, look, it you cannot have an Instagram until you're, or until you're what I don't even know the age. I don't, think that's, I, I don't think that's fair for you to to hold that against her because I had an Instagram as soon as we as soon as they ca it came out because it I don't hold it that, against her. Well, the, be holding her age against her because as soon as Instagram released, I had one and I was under what what age is it? Eighteen? I don't think it's eighteen. I had I had one at fourteen. So I think it I'm is just, fourteen. I'm just saying. I think it is fourteen though. I think that is. I think it's actually thirteen. Hmm. Um, I'm I not say. holding it against her. But but when I changed the birth date, it locked her account. I and a, actually now that I think about it, I had a Facebook at ten, and the age to be I have a Facebook is eighteen. But I wonder if that changed because back then, it wasn't that. And also, I didn't know like if I knew that I didn't it didn't bother me. I didn't care. Well, um, why did it bother you with her? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Like. I, Honestly, honestly, and 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 don't take this as a double standard. But she's a little girl, and I no, think I don't that, think that's a double standard. I understand. And and but also, oh. there's a lot more information on social media, so he knows now more than ever. He knows the 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 pitfalls of social media, right? Versus when you were getting into Dare, it was so new. There's no way Scott knew what it would become. Exactly. I think Scott was trying to get you abducted, Dare. <laughs> 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 uh, it's sad because it's true <laughs> so we're, we're going through all this stuff and then i realize oh she has snapchat oh the worst oh, no so i just added her on snapchat so here's what happens with snapchat so we get to snapchat 
I know that her and her mom have like a 480 day streak. That's really going. important to Zoomers. That's really yes. important. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a streak where they str they send. Like, um, it means 400 some days in a row they've sent I've each other. I've never had snap. Snapchat in my life. It's the worst. I have it, but I don't understand it. It's I don't worst. do anything with it. It's like the most sneaky way to message people. That's yeah, what it's turned I into. Know. I know yeah. it's not good. Just so, everything disappears. I go into her Snapchat, and the first thing I do is I, you know, I put it on private and and whatever, and then I look at her age, and the age is wrong. And I'm like, did you ask her if she knew what year she was born? Maybe she just doesn't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what year she was born. She knows. <laughs> she knows go. what year she was born. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like, I'm about to change it. I'm like, you know what? Let me do something real quick. I look up online. I'm like, what's the age for Snapchat? And it thir it's 13. And I like this is this is one of those extremely difficult parent moments because if I take the Snapchat away from her, that is going to be the most devastating thing that I've done of the evening. Mm -hmm. And she didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything to be in trouble to like lose something like I don't I don't feel as bad when I'm taking something away from her because she's in trouble. Mm -hmm. But this is something that she didn't do wrong. You felt like it was your fault for not for letting her, I guess, for allowing her to be able to do this in the first place. And yeah. yeah, yeah, I get that. And and it wasn't. But the thing is, is when she got Snapchat, she wasn't even living with me. Mm. So it wasn't something that I had anything to do with anyway. Right. So, I mean, I, I, I did the best thing that I knew what to do in this situation, because it would have been devastating for me to take that string away from her and i said sure i said that would, have, that would have hurt your relationship with her Com completely oh she yeah have, she yeah would have been I, devastated and she would have blamed you yep yep so i said you know what i'm gonna let you keep the snapchat yeah abby woo but I, I i'm gonna i'm gonna randomly ask to see it and that means seeing your messages and that means seeing everything on there and she said, yeah, because the messages disappear anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but so this is what that did. One, like I could sleep better at night, not knowing that I'm completely devastated. Yeah. by My daughter. But we were able to have more open conversations about why we're doing this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I painted a, a terrible picture for her. I said, listen, I said, the reason why this is so important is you're going to be thinking that you're chatting with Dylan, who's 14 years old, and saying, oh, I understand you, and yeah, parents suck, and this and that and the other, and you're going to become very tight and very close. And then one day he's going to say, hey, meet me at the bus stop, and then it's going to be a 47-year-old man yeah. who's going to kidnap you, rape you, and murder you. I, and I well, you met up with your internet friends. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> oh, jeez. I understand the point you're trying to make with that, and I completely agree with you, Dad. Um, but also, like, on one side of it, she can also control who she's adding, and she can know mm -hmm. she's pulling up her friend, like, Mary Sue, like, can pull up her code or pull up her QR, like, her QR thing and scan it and know that that is that person and not have to worry about it. And that's so. the thing. I put everything to private. Everything's mm -hmm. on private. So, you know, we were able to have some... and and she went to bed that night in a very good place. And, you know, part of the things that we were discussing is like, you know, she is on her computer at nine 30 at night and watches, t watches TV on her computer in bed. And I'm like, I don't want your computer in bed with you. Like I want all technology off at nine o'clock. She's like, well, my bedtime's nine 30. I'm like, read a book, but I want all technology Real. done. Um, hey, I don't blame you for that. I, I love reading. Like I, really? I listen, to, I listen to audiobooks. Me too. Well, I can't that's read. What we're, that's what we're looking into her. Hey, I'll tell you. As a kid, when I was in middle school, I was able to stay up as late as I want, watch TV in my room because I had a TV in my room, and we had HBO. Was not a good thing to have HBO. <laughs> <laughs> PM at middle school. Way different. Was yeah. not good. <laughs> Way different than <laughs> HBO me, Max. <laughs> I saw a lot more than I should have in middle school watching HBO after dark. Yeah. Um, Jaws with quite possibly the chat of the night. <laughs> Say what happened when you meet, met up with your internet friends. Yeah. I, I and then right above that, uh, Dane, Dane saying meeting up at Geyser Point. Point. 
referring to when Scott met up with an underage YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> that guys are for Dane was definitely 17. He's like, you, she, he's like, you don't want to be Dane. <laughs> so I actually have a similar uh, thing, Scott, uh, to make you feel a little bit better. So um, when I was in middle school, MySpace was real popular, right? Oh, and yeah. I, had to, I, I had to get permission from my mom. What is MySpace? What did you say? Oh, what's MySpace? Are you, MySpace you're, you're, you're trolling. Facebook. You're trolling. Yeah, yeah, was, you're trolling. Yeah, I'm you're trolling. <laughs> So MySpace, one of the first social medias, and you know, it was taboo social media. You, you see that I was all, you know, all the news stories. You know, be careful about MySpace. This, that, the other thing. So my mom didn't let me have MySpace, but it got to the point where, some point in middle school, I, I asked her if I, and she gave me permission to, you know, say I was eighteen and have a MySpace because that was like a main way for you to make plans with your friends. Like there wasn't literally like texting or group chats and stuff like that. Like you made friends with your or you made plans with your friends on MySpace. Like, she just had to be in your top six, right? She she was right before Tom. <laughs> but so it's like, you know, uh, I'm sure she kept tabs on it without letting me, you know what I mean? I'm sure she kept tabs on it uh, to make sure everything was going fine. It's, it's just like one of the things in this uh, new age of parenting with social media, you have to, there, there has to be some... Uh, give and take I feel like I, I I feel like you did the right thing in that in, in that situation because and, and then her knowing how serious you were about everything she's gonna remember that every decision she makes on there and you, you taught her some very valuable lessons uh about her being abducted and stuff painting a very scary picture you know what I mean but so it's reality. exactly exactly it's, it's reality scary, scary. But it's so it, it's reality. Yeah, absolutely. I watch so many YouTube videos um, for fun. There's this guy named Skeeter Gene, and he uh, he does it's uh, he has a series to skeet a predator and, instead of to catch a predator. And he does the whole uh, Chris Hansen thing and poses as a minor, sets up things and has these hour long YouTube videos and it's th these are coming out weekly. Like there's so many people out there that are trying to prey on, on on kids. It's disgusting. So you have to paint that picture because these people are out there, unfortunately. Yep. Yep. Hey, sp speaking of teaching uh, lessons, do you, Dad? Do you still have the newspaper? You I know, do. How are you gonna make her read it? Of course. Okay. Just making. I sure. made you read it. What is this? So there's a there's a newspaper article of. Um, I don't remember all the details of it. Was it was it drunk driving? Yep. It, yeah. it, it was a four day series. Um, it, it came out four days in mm -hmm. a row. Um, it was like front page of, of the paper and it was the anatomy of an accident. And what it did is each day w focused on a different person that was in this um, drunk driving accident and how it's either affected their lives or affected their family lives. Oh, wow. Their families' lives. But what it did is it told the story of them before the accident and then leading up to what they were doing mm -hmm. that night of the accident. It was just so freaking impactful that I'm like, I'm going to make my kids read this when they... Uh, oh, wow. When they when they get their driver's license. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not I just the, want to you know, I never get behind the wheel, uh, like, drinking at all, ever. Because, it, of, because, because of that? Fact, but, yeah. Wow. Wow. I will, I will, I will sit somewhere and I will wait until I know I am in a state that I can drive. Wow! And thankfully, you know, thankfully we have the Uber and the Lyft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's ride share, I, huh? I said too expensive. I'd rather wait. <laughs> Taxis are too expensive. Uber is nothing. In um, the area I live, I live, I live over by Disney. No, that's too expensive. Yeah, that's that's true. true. Nothing's that expensive but, when you have Rachel's credit card, Darren. <laughs> well, I don't have Rachel's credit card, unfortunately. Um, it, you, you know, rideshare has reduced drunk driving accidents like um, tremendously, but that's why Scott uses them. Alex, so you have <laughs> Alex, you have toddlers. <laughs> when when ha have you had conversations? Kids, right? <laughs> you have you had conversations with uh, with your wife about when? Because I'm sure they have tablets, right? They have iPads or tablets mm -hmm. or whatever. So. Um, have you had conversations with your wife about when the first phone, like when they're going to get their first phone? Yeah, we don't, we think, well, they have things where you can get a family phone where they don't have access to apps. They only have access to a, 
a number and the numbers in there and that's your number. So okay. they can literally just call you and text you and that's it. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. So that's pretty much what they'll have is just a glorified uh, not a phone that can only access us. It's like essentially they, a walkie talkie with extended yeah, they range. Have, they have things this thing called uh Buzz Kids or whatever and I have to download an app so they can send me te- messages. Okay. That's they cool. They have their own little uh Almost like smartphone because it has games on it, and um, you can't download. I think you can upload apps onto it from the computer, but um, so they kind of have something like that right now. But it doesn't make phone calls or anything. Right now, when when they're on their tablets, how do you manage what they see and can't see? Like if they're on YouTube, is it yeah. are there like special kid accounts or? It's you. They have YouTube Kids, but it's still not bulletproof. Right, right. So you got to still monitor. And we've e- even blocked people because... Really? We watch some things she, she watches and we're like, that doesn't seem like something she should be watching. We'll be right. Yeah, see, that's the scary part. It's like, like you just mm-hmm. said, it's not bulletproof. I know my, my cousin, uh, she makes her daughter send her the video she wants to watch on YouTube. And she has to watch it first. That's before. way too much time. I know. That's why I'm thinking like... like, <laughs> like and she's like, I have this catalog of videos I have to watch. And she's like, bugging me, <laughs> bugging me to. She's like, did you watch them yet? <laughs> but it's like that. That literally is the only way to make sure that the content is like a hundred percent right for yeah. the kids. It's 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 yeah. scary. It's it's uh yeah, and we'll even like. My son will find something on YouTube Kids that he'll watch, and I'm like, nah, we're not gonna watch this. Right, right. Like, we're just not gonna watch it. I don't think it's appropriate for you. And, you know, I think the the biggest talk I've had I had so far is because one of our dogs passed away. Oh, uh, so yeah. So that yeah. was, that was, especially because it was my son's, like, best friend. He loved uh, that dog. So I think the other day he said, uh, he said, will I grow old like Gilly did? I was uh, like, yeah. He's like, well, will I leave the house like Gilly did? I said, well, we're not going we to talk about that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy because I had the same conversation when I was a little kid with my grandparents. And they're like, I'm much older than you. Don't worry about it. That that's these are all things that I'm not. I wish I knew all this beforehand. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And, I, and we're not raising them religious, so they have no idea about any of that stuff. Because I'm not. I didn't grow up religious. My wife did, but she doesn't care that they're not being brought up that way. Well, I'm glad you brought up religion because I am actually going through the uh, tr- trials and tribulations and paperwork and spiritual um, awakening and going back to my uh, Amish roots that I have. <laughs> and uh, so my kids are going to actually grow up Amish, which I think is the best way. Oh, so I, good. Yeah, I, I, I need a new roof, so I'm hoping that my daughter will be able to build a roof by the age of like four or five. <laughs> uh, all the time that she'd be spending on her tablet will now be on a uh, building. I'm going through a spiritual awakening as well. A world with a, a new WWD, WWE a Universal Champion. I'm glad you brought that up, Darren. I'm, I, I, before, before we, before we uh, go on, to, we're going to end the uh, episode talking about this, this planned segment that we were talking about. But uh, I do want to uh, acknowledge uh, Roman Reigns because he does deserve that. Roman Reigns, who was championed for years. Uh, acknowledge years. your tribal chief, Scott. That's the it's no. it's the so thing. Point out, you what know, are we doing? Ign- point you're out. acknowledging your tribal chief. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so doing? so this past weekend, uh, Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare, son of a son of Dusty Rhodes, grand grandson of a plumber, uh, won mm-hmm. the uh, Universal uh, Championship, WWE Championship. So the writers at the WWE decided that he you was going to up. be the you new popular person. Shut up right person. now! No, you shut up. Wrestling right now. is real. I would not watch wrestling if it was if it was real. That would be like, so boring. That like, would be yes, so boring. Yes, it's story fake. arc, man. But let's talk about these like how athletic these men, men and women crazy. are. Uh, it's they crazy. go crazy. Yeah, it's impressive. I'm not ta- saying that like things that they do don't hurt, but it's scripted. Yeah, so is yeah. every movie and TV show I watch, guys. So, so is the NFL. Every- so is every sporting event. Every sporting event is somewhat scripted. Ima- it's not. Uh, imagine watching a movie that was all improv. That would be horrible. Horrible. Actually, I watch a TV show that's improv every week, and it's hilarious. Imagine Tom Cruise in an improv movie. It'd be tar- horrible, <laughs> Alex. It would be. It would. It would. It would. It would suck. That's why. I, I, if 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 they if wrestling was was fake. I mean, was real. I'd hate it. It would be horrible. So yeah, I like the the storyline, Scott. All right. So anyway. He becomes champion, and 
It's a man's soap opera, Scott. You'd love it. And 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 it, actually, Scott, you'd probably love it. You're, that is you true. You'd love it. And it's the perfect time to start right now. I know. They're starting. They're restarting. It is. Yeah, that's yeah. I got in last year when they restarted. When they did the draft last year, my sister and Chris got me into it, and I watch more than they. They don't even watch it anymore. I watch every episode every week. This is the perfect time to to start. Why? You why? Have, go ahead. Go ahead, Darren. No, I was gonna say, do you have Peacock? Because you can even like, I will even share. I have my Peacock password. I, so I have a website. All. Where you can oh, watch website? it. Perfect. I have a website you can stream it from, and you can watch it the day it, or it comes out. Ugh. Oh, see, TikTok to, followers are saying it. they like you it. Now Darren Scott has to. Because Peacock's not until a week later. Yeah, Bestie Miranda says that she loved, uh, well, loved oh, Hulk Hogan was the best. Yeah, Hulk Hogan. I lo- watch wrestling during Hulk Hogan. See, and, 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 and Hulk Hogan is a uh, known racist, Scott, so maybe <laughs> that could be your time. So anyway, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, the, the reason why I'm bringing this up is... I speaking about scripted things. I've never cried during a movie or a TV show. It's all fake. It's all um, you know. Some 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 of the ones based on true stories are a little sad, but uh, whatever. Rub some dirt in it. You so, didn't cry during Titanic? No, oh, I no. I actually don't like that movie. Armageddon. No. 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 Mm. Et. No. Scared, no. but didn't cry. Rudy. No, I don't cry at movies. Uh, period. Rudy was off sides. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rudy was the biggest waste of time I've ever uh, spent watching a movie, by the way. He made one tackle. Big whoop. Um, <laughs> so, no, never cried. Never. I, I've, I've gotten choked up during movies. Marley and me? Never watched. Too afraid I've to. I've never seen that. Too afraid, I, yeah, too afraid to break that's, the streak. That's why too you afraid to break the streak. You won't watch the movies that you know are going to make you <laughs> Too cry. afraid to break the streak there. Radio? Have you seen Radio, Chris? Uh, yeah, I have. I won't that's... watch Marley and me or because of Winn-Dixie or like the... The dog because that comes Winn-Dixie back to George makes Clooney. You cry? Huh? Because of when Dixie makes you cry? I don't know. I've never seen it. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure it's just about a supermarket. Anyway, so so um, the only two times I've ever cried watching something in my whole life was when the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl. Broke down in tears. I don't think I'll cry when the Bengals win one. I don't think I'll cry. It's because I never will. <laughs> You take that back, you son of a bitch. You take that back. When and I cried when Brandon Graham strip sacked Tom Brady. That's when I, I was like, this is the greatest day of my life. And it will. And I, I will tell my daughter that when she is old enough to understand that the, her birth was the second greatest day of my life. And number one will always be the Philadelphia Eagles winning the Super Bowl. Um, the second time I ever cried was when Cody Rhodes won the WWE championship. Are you serious? That I'm d- I I so Alex, I, I I I cried. It was really? it from was the, so well done. From the moment Cody Rhodes came like came out for his entrance till the end of WrestleMania, I was in tears. I, I was getting choked up during the entrance. A little long. I think you should go fuck much. yourself, Alex. <laughs> it was a little too much. It was that's what made it so great. But when he looked up and started talking to his dad, who is super dead, oh, uh, Scott. Yes, super dead. I know he's super. Dead. Yeah, and yeah. his dad. The, the reason the reason why I cried was because his dad never was able to uh, become WWE champion. Yeah. And that's and that's what that damn polka dot suit. And, and 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 Cody Rhodes was released from the WWE, and he he did his own thing, started his own company, came back. And and years later, he he was written to become the WWE champion, Scott. And it was a true underdog story. It's not an underdog story. The no, he was script- an underdog. It, it it was an underdog story. It's not an underdog situation. The, why? the script writers wrote it. So why'd yeah, you cry during Rudy? Like, so why'd you cry during Rudy? Because script- that's based on a true story, and Rudy Man. worked so hard. Well, Cody this really happened. Really hard. This, he this, tore this, his pack. True story. He wrestled with a torn peck, Scott. You can't fake a torn peck. It, was like, it wasn't a real torn It was off so the bone. No, it, was it wasn't real. a real. No, you need, it you was need to look real. up a picture right now. You need to look up a I have a right Funko now. Pop so with real. the bruise. It's so no, you're not. real. I, I do. It's right behind me. I showed Darren the other day. It's right there. Really? He's looking, he's looking down at me. He did there are it. two moments when I've cried. That's what I. History. That's that's what I'm. I am coming to. Yeah. During real sports. Besides with... sex, when do you cry, <laughs> Scott? Uh. I love sex. I have no idea what that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, you were bullshitting earlier when you said you have sex with Scott. <laughs> you don't have sex. 
No, no he I said with sex with a scox. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we've been doing this together too long. <laughs> <laughs> we can finish each other's <laughs> sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. Um, so I, I've cried during uh, some two real sport events. Um, when Jordan Travis got hurt in the, oh. in the uh, FSU game yeah. and was out for the rest of the And you knew as soon as it happened, you knew that he was out. He was done for the rest of the season. And I was sitting there just in tears. Like, I went outside to tell my wife what had happened, and I am bawling. I'm bawling. So that was like a sad cry moment because that was just so devastating. Did you cry on 9-11? What's 9-11? No, yes. Of, no, I didn't. Um, so you cried when Jordan Travis broke his leg, but, but not when millions – or not millions, wow. Hundreds of Hundreds, people hundreds perished. Thousands. Was it thousands? Was it uh, Scott hundreds, millions? What doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. So you know, that's they didn't break a, their leg. Chris, that's an interesting. Pretty interesting, thing. right? Because no, I've never cried during any type of tragedy, like real tragedy. Yeah, I haven't either. I, I think. Not during Paul eleven. No, I I definitely cried during um, the vid, because like they kept showing videos of. People like holding signs up through their, their, oh, their, the the nursing home windows, and like I definitely had moments where I teared up during that. Mm -hmm. But I cried no, the bolts. like I'm glued to the television, and I want to find out, and I'm angry, and I'm or I'm, I'm 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 it makes me sad. But yeah, I've never had that emotion where I'm like crying at this. I know it's terrible. Weird, right? What, Darren? What'd you say you cried at? I, I cried during uh, because of the pulse. I'll never, I'll never forget. Um, oh, it was, it was, it was the night before the Tonys. Pulse, and, yes. And pulse, and, yes. And because of or like, it was the same year that like Hamilton was nominated for everything, um, and then Lin Manuel Miranda won for I don't remember what he won for, uh, but during his his Hamilton. acceptance speech, well, yes, but during, <laughs> like I don't remember if it was for acting what 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 it, the tony was for um but he like his speech he dedicated it to uh pulse and it just if you haven't seen that speech you should look you should look it up it's a very like emotional like just entire entirety it made me cry i'm gonna cry thinking about it yeah that i i did i did tear up during that i think if something happened near me i would be more emotionally attached to it. I think that's probably why. And the thing is, it wasn't. And and, and we've done a pulse episode. And I don't want to. I don't want to. It for me, it wasn't necessarily seeing things unfold on the news. It was in real life trying to help friends of mine or people that work for me find out information if their friend was right. Alive. Right. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. Is what made it very difficult for me. And and you know, hearing the stories and all that, but. Unfortunately, I don't cry ever. Yeah, I was going to ask you, Alex. Yeah, my, que my question to you, Alex, is when was the last time you cried? And was it when you were born? Is that was it? No, as an adult, I think there's only been... As an adult, I think I've only cried, like, two times, maybe three times. When, you're, when your dog passed away. No. Really? No, I cry I almost cry every all. time I'm drunk. Um, <laughs> make me cry. <laughs> when, a, when, my, when my stepmom died, I cried. My grandpa died. I cried, and when I got married, my wife said I was crying a little bit. Aww. So I think that was only three times, but like that's it. So three really tragic, uh, sad moments of your life. Yeah. It's really jarring <laughs> moments. Sure but like, but I don't get married. I don't cry. I don't get like, I don't cry when like an event happens or yeah, yeah, I'm super happy or whatever. Oh, uh, in chat, Remy said, "OMG, I was watching the live from tonight's episode." I, he was, he kept commenting, he kept, he kept commenting on that video. I think, Remy, did you think that you were watching live? <laughs> I just want to confirm because you did comment a couple of times. I was getting emails. <laughs> yeah, he said, "Yeah." <laughs> uh, that's a good way to bring the mood back up on this episode. So. Um, <laughs> that's, that's really funny. I just can't wait to see what Cody does with the title. 
Dude, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait it's for gonna SmackDown. Be, it's going to be a good run. He's going to lose it. Yeah, he's going to lose it eventually. They all lose it eventually. Yes, Scott. He's, it sooner. he's not going to lose it right away. He, there, there's been too much work put into it, and he <laughs> is the top guy. What is going on in the chat? Remy, I'm super stoned. What is going on? <laughs> um, oh, oh, wow. Ryan almost cried during the Pulse episode. Never that was finished a tough it. episode. That was a real tough, especially the last segment when I start reading the names. Ugh. Oh, jeez. I remember crying listening to that. <laughs> Dane, I will never cry during sports, except I did cry buckets when I create a player when it's first Super Bowl in Madden franchise. <laughs> uh, I got choked up when Bubba Joe, when I saw Bubba Joe raise the Lombardi trophy. Oh that was, not. that yeah. was, uh, my friend got me some birthday weed, so why not? It was your birthday, Remy? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> all right we ready for some summaries oh my gosh wow can't wait for I these i didn't realize this was your show the episode's <laughs> over yeah i didn't it's, realize it's been like an hour i think i gotta eat my peanut butter and jelly before yeah. bed still oh, can you go over. live to watch the P uh, to eat the pb and j i'll watch it only when i'm drunk <laughs> <laughs> only when i'm drunk uh scott you have any summaries for us i do all right so chris says I'm going to be a dad. Immediately bitches about the dog crying in the other room. <laughs> We're off to a great start, aren't we, Chris? <laughs> my relationship with my kids is a lot like my relationships with Chris, uh, Chris Yob. I had no idea they existed until, the, until they were grown adults. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm a proud girl dad. Sorry, Darren. Uh, I even have a T-shirt that says girl dad on it. It came with my single dad star. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that your dad said he was a girl dad, Darren? Yeah, I know. I heard it. No, he I just know. yeah, he just thought that yeah, since he had a girl. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know what he said. It's OK. I'll remember. I'm a human dad. <laughs> a very inclusive. In, parent in parenting, I've learned from all my mistakes. Thank you, Darren, for teaching me so much. That's right. Oh my That's right. God. Same thing on my sister. <laughs> uh, Chris asks Alex if he and his wife have had conversations about when the kids can have phones. Um, Game Master Ryan and his wife have had the same conversation, but Ryan's response was, well, I guess when we can afford it. <laughs> Did he write that? No, I wrote that. Oh, that would have been really oh. funny if he wrote that. <laughs> That's good. Alex said that he never cries, uh, proving the fact that gingers don't have souls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a half ginger, okay? I'm a half blood. I'm a half and, last, blood. <laughs> and lastly, Chris's mom wouldn't let him have my space. So to get even, Chris wouldn't let his parents have their space until he moved out in his late 20s. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, and those are my summaries. That was good. Very nice. That Very was nice. good. Thank you. Thank you, Scott and uh, and uh, Ensemble. We're not going to name him. Um, Joel says top or bottom. I'm going to go top. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, Alex, thanks for joining us tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah right? I'm going to go back to editing after this. I think you're going to start to projectile vomit. It looked like you were a little scary over there. I'm gonna go back to editing the podcast. I'm I'm at the point where you guys are talking about the twins. Yeah, enjoy it. I think this was a really fun episode. It's a really, it, really, really good episode. Very uncomfortable for so many reasons. Yeah, yeah. It was way more uncomfortable than probably having a conjoined twin. <laughs> Maybe not that uncomfortable. That was easy. And who? I meant like being a conjoined twin. Duh. Yeah. Actually, could be very comfortable because when one never mind. If you if you want to know what we're talking about, go back uh, and watch live. Just don't comment because we we are not really there <laughs> anymore. You can comment. Don't, don't read it. Darren, Scott, Alex, we got to get the hell up on out of here. <laughs> what's, 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 what, what is Remy? What is Remy's Remy's outro? It's time to get the hell up. It's time to get the hell up on hell out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> I miss her. Is this episode 227? Are you going to name it 227 now? Or? No, it's 226.
No, the episode that we did. I'm just editing is 226.